How to be a Contest Toastmaster So you've been asked to be a Contest Toastmaster. Congratulations! The first thing you need to know is this. You are not the star of the show. This is not your moment in the spotlight. Think of yourself as an MC or talk show host. Your role is to make everyone else look good. You have three primary goals. Run a fair contest per the rules. Make the contestants comfortable and avoid any indication of bias. Start by reading the latest rule book. There are changes every year, and the changes might affect the way you run the contest. Arrive at the contest early. Chat in a friendly way with the attendees, but avoid spending too much time talking with contestants, particularly if they're your friends. The idea is to avoid the appearance of bias. At the start of the contest, be your charming self. Set the expectations for the audience and get them excited about what they're about to see. You don't have to exhaustively detail the rules. Tell the audience that the contestants have been briefed, describe the timing for the contest, the speaking area, and mention that only judges and contestants can lodge a protest. Explain to the audience that during the contest you will be as inscrutable as humanly possible so as not to show bias. When you read the list of contestant names, say each name without any special emphasis. Once the contest starts, limit what you say. Per the rules, introduce the speakers by contestant name, title of speech, title of speech, contestant name. Don't announce the contestant number or say anything other than the name and title. In an evaluation contest, introduce the contestant by saying their name twice. After the contestant finishes, say only, Timer, please give us one minute on the clock while the judges mark their ballots. After the last speaker, say, Please remain silent while the judges complete their ballots and the ballots have been collected. Stay on camera or stand at the podium and say nothing until the ballots have been collected. Saying anything else, or starting with the contestant interviews, for goodness sakes, might influence the judges. So nothing should happen until all the ballots are in. Once they are in, ask all the contestants to come to the front of the room or to turn on their cameras, unless this is the first contest and one of the contestants will compete in the second contest. To avoid bias, the contestant should wait until after the second contest to be interviewed. When you interview the contestants, ask their name and home club. Then ask one other question that's based on their contestant bio form or something from their speech. Ask a softball question that enables the contestant to be smart and funny. Keep the spotlight on others. If the results aren't ready, ask each contestant another question until the results are final. Before the winners are announced, thank all the participants and finish any district announcements. If you're asked to announce the winners, if there are four or more contestants, announce third, second, and first place. If there are three contestants, announce second and first. And if there are only two contestants, only announce the first place winner. Once the winners have been announced, gavel the end of the contest. It's the high note of the event. Unless the chief judge interrupts with a correction, once the winners are announced, the results are final. No one can contest the results, and no one should discuss any irregularities. If you run a fair contest per the rules, make the contestants comfortable, and avoid any indication of bias, you will be a completely successful contest toastmaster and a hero to the participants and the audience.